Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E. We're handicappers, so it's an SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. It's week six, Sunday's games, the 13th of October. Can't believe it's week six already. Flying by. All right, first up, DeAndre Swift. It's a London game, 9.30 a.m. Sunday, which is pretty cool once again just because Got a whole day of football. Uh, went with receiving yards, 19 and a half. The line did go down. Get it at 18 and a half. Uh, if you got Bet MGM, Caesars, or 365. It's cleared this just about every time this year. Four out of the last five. We played him last game as well. Uh, he cleared it. You know, a uh, theme of my basically all all these last few weeks, uh, especially with young quarterbacks, but any quarterback, situational football, third downs, uh, shorts, third and shorts, or anything in shorts for that matter, uh, two-minute drills, even just the beginning of the games to get the quarterback in rhythm, especially these young quarterbacks, little check downs, uh, wide receivers and shit get blocked up. You take the check down or, you know, uh, a hot route, they call it, or something like that. Blitz in, you got to get rid of it quick. But, uh, should, uh, it's been working. So as long as the number's right in the, in the back or tight end or whoever it is, can uh, catch. We usually been playing them and they've been doing well. Jacksonville's ranked 31st in receiving yards allowed and to the running back to rank 31st. He's uh, getting plenty of targets, receptions, basically catching them every time it's thrown to him. Now sometimes you got to be careful because they do get stuffed at the line, but uh, he's an elusive back. Uh, average yards per catch, a little over 10. It's caught, got a couple long ones, averaging 14. Uh, yards after the catch, he does real well. As they would say, the yak. Uh, he's exceeded 18 and a half in five of the last six, averaging 32.8. Fifth in targets on the team. So, yeah, it should be good. should be good. Uh, London games are a little tough. Jacksonville usually does good in London. This is when they kind of do better from this point on in the season for some reason the last few years. But, um, you know, you got to be careful, too, with jet lag and stuff. Some people don't perform as well. But it should be easy. Let's get it. DeAndre Swift. Shar Bateman, wide receiver. It's like number two or three on the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, line did jump up a little bit. You get it at 29 and a half right now for like minus 140. But uh, I ended up getting it at 30 and a half yesterday. Uh, three out of five, he's cleared this. Washington is... Overall, 13th, <clears throat> excuse me, in receiving yards. 22nd to the wide receiver position. He's getting plenty of receptions. Targets, for the most part. This was versus the Bills. Uh, they blew him out. He's uh, exceeded 27 and a half. The line went up. That's why it says that uh, 4 out of 5, averaging 40. He's number 2 in targets, percentage on the team. Uh, should be a good game. You got Jaden McDaniels going against uh, duh, what's his name? Uh, Lamar Jackson. Uh, 
it's been this little hype going on all week with people comparing the two and McDaniel saying he's his own man. He's not like anyone else, blah, blah, blah. So it should be a little shootout. Uh, the problem is Washington is not good. They don't have a good run defense. So I expect uh, Henry to run the ball. So you can look at a play like that uh, as well as Justice. I did have a play for him, but I took it off. Uh, I got his yards at like 15 and 16. Uh, he's been getting around that. And uh, Baltimore takes off. And they can't, and Washington can't stop the run, and they get ahead. They're going to keep running the ball with the both of them. Uh, something I might like, but uh, sometimes I miss the lines trying to make this video, or they just, you know, you just miss them. Uh, they get moved up, and sometimes it's better just not to bet a line that got moved up too much. Like even this one. But uh, they still got that 29-30. I believe he's going to go over it. Got a touchdown last game, and uh, just got a feeling. No, he should be all right. Rashad Bateman, let's get it. Arizona at Green Bay. You know, I go through the whole slate, and there's a million plays I can play. I try to narrow it down to, obviously, the best ones. But uh, with this game, I went with Tucker Craft. Played him last game, I believe. Uh, I like going like I, I've been playing the tight end. Certain players, you know, situational football, they're going to get their chances. The other tight end is, is injured, I believe. Um, Muscraft or whatever his name is. But I went with receiving yards, 39 and a half. Uh, over. The line was at 41 and a half, went down, went up. Played this, yeah, I think we did play it last game. He cleared it uh, two out of the four, uh, out of the five, excuse me, out of the five. Last few games, he's been getting opportunities. Three and two, two for two, two out of three, a lot, six out of nine, five out of four. Um, Arizona overall 18th receiving yards to the tight end position, ranked 16th. Inside saying he failed to receive as many. Uh, they got him three on targets list. Average yard per reception, 12. He gets yards after the catch. Uh, I like his long reception too, but it's right at that number, and I kind of been getting burned with them lately. So I laid off with uh, situational football, third downs, something in short, uh, two-minute drill, uh, where there was no timeouts. They're trying to get down the field, end of the game, as well as when the other team plays zone D or something like that or uh, two back, cover two. You know, they experience tight ends and certain players. They know to fill in those, uh, those zones and gaps. And uh, Fields is back now, so we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Check the injury. I'm pretty sure this is, I heard something like that. Yeah, Musgrave, injured reserve, ankle. So they'll obviously have another tight end, but he'll be the, I mean, he kind of was the main uh, tight end, but still. So let's get it. Tucker Craft. All right, so next up, uh, they had, uh, what was it, Thursday, Monday Night Football, might maybe Sunday night, Dallas played somebody. Uh, so I was able to really get into the game, dissect it before the game, and I watched it, and uh, definitely a couple of key players cashed him in that game. I uh, like it in this game, too. Kavon Turpin, wide receiver, uh, over 28 and a half yards, receiving yards. Uh, line must have got moved. It says prize picks. Oh, shit. Did they go down? Damn. 
26 and a half. You can get it at. Uh, once again, I missed it. The man, the thing is to, to beat the closing line, and I'm on top of it. But uh, I still think it's good. I was, I'd play it at 26 and a half, even though it went down. Uh, he's cleared this two out of the five. What happened was Cooks got hurt. They got C.D. Lamb, receiver one. I think Brandon Cooks was receiver two. And uh, they used the tight end a lot, which is always a good play. Um, Cooks got hurt. He's on injured reserve. And last game, Turpin and uh, I forget the other guy's name, but they both went over the yards. I played both of them. Uh, great game, bunch of receptions, bunch of targets. Caught four out of five. So uh, everything's saying no. He failed to exceed, blah, blah, blah. I didn't have many targets, this and that. Uh, Tolbert was the other one. I played. He's good, too. But uh, Tarpin, just like I was saying earlier, you know, second, third receiver. I mean, I, he moved up now because of the injury, but to Cooks. But they don't have the best back on them. Uh, so, but even if he did, he's, uh, I think he's a rookie, actually. Um, or the other guy's the rookie. But either way, he's going to go over this. He just needs a couple of opportunities. Uh Give him a couple chances. He definitely can catch. I like the number did go down, so obviously you can get it lower. But uh, let's get it. Come on, Turpin. Oh, and the Cowboys are playing at home indoors. It's going to be a good game versus Detroit. Detroit's going to stop the run, so Cowboys are going to be passing. say Detroit's 27th in receiving yards allowed to the wide receiver that ranked 32nd. Uh, it's another guy I've been messing around with too on Dallas, uh, the running back, Duato. I said how Detroit would stop the run. The, run uh, the Cowboys don't really have a run game. But uh, Duato, whatever his name is, the second back, besides Ezekiel, was, he's kind of the first back, uh, He's been doing real well. Uh, he had a reception touchdown. He went under on his yards, but uh, over on his rushing yards. Might be a good spot for him because they really, he had a decent game, so they might uh, put some effort in and trying to get him the ball. But uh, yeah, so next up, I got Montgomery receiving yards over eight and a half. It's a low number. Normally, Gibbs is the receiving back with uh, Dallas overall. Ninth receiving yards, they got good DBs. But to the running back, they're in 27th. So uh, Montgomery's gone over this three out of four. The thing is, too, with Gibbs being that back, that elusive, I mean, they're both really good. They, I think they more think pass when Gibbs is in the back. And with Montgomery, they're thinking runs. So when he runs up for that pass block, he sometimes get that check down. Or they set him up a play in the red zone or whatever. Um, so they're not really paying his attention, as much attention as if Gibbs was in there. But uh, or he run up and do that chip block and then get that check down. But uh, should go over. It's a low number. I like it and uh, showing that how bad they are at receiving yards to the back position. You know, a couple chances, and when he does, he's 100%. He doesn't drop one ball, so that's another thing. I like I like seeing that. He's exceeded eight and a half for the last five on the road, averaging 14. One, two, three, four. He's fifth in uh, targets. Not many, but uh, he'll touch the ball. And even if he gets it at least once, he should get over it. Uh, anytime touchdown, always great for him or Gibbs. But uh, I always drop them in the community. Touchdown props and uh, do a same game parlay or parlay or whatever. But uh, let's get it. Montgomery, easy cash. Eight and a half yards, one play. Let's go. 
hit that thumb new viewers subscribe let's turn on the notifications where you get my plays my live bets anything i do i try to be as transparent as possible uh, if you could leave a comment likes and comments help get the videos out there as well as uh some interaction between me and you guys uh, let me know how you're doing if uh you like something you cash something if you didn't like something uh Appreciate everyone who does. Let's get that number. Come on. I'm trying to get to 500. I've been doing this a couple months. When I do get to 500, I'm going to do a little, I think, $100 giveaway. I said that in the beginning, so definitely got to be at least 100. But uh, let's get it up there. Come on. We're making money. Let's make money together. Sportsbook robbery. Kyle Pitts receiving yards over 34 and a half. Couple rough games. Uh, you got it on DraftKings. You get it at 29 and a half, minus 175 if you're betting a lot. Always all line, especially if you're betting a lot of money. Uh, 33 and a half, you can get it at. That's why. Went down a little bit. Went up and went down. It's at 35 and a half, but that's, that's the game. Uh, Rough start. They weren't looking for him. Cousins wasn't sure with himself coming off that Achilles. And then uh, started getting going. Last game, he had a great game. Uh, using all, I could have just did the whole slate with just uh, players from this team. Um, the problem is Carolina's not that good. So... They have changed a little bit since they benched, uh, what's his name? But uh, he's going to go over this. Cousins is, you know, a veteran receiver, uh, veteran quarterback, and he's not targeting on one guy, even though it might seem like that. London, you got McLeod, you got all of them. Uh, Mooney, any one of them is, you know, they're all getting open. He's spreading the ball around, and they're all going over their yards. Uh Overall, 22nd, the receiving yards, Carolina to the tight end, 23rd. Uh, Pitts head to head last year, 100%. He went over this. Starting to get plenty of targets and receptions. The team is starting to gel pretty good. Uh, bad game right there, three with none. But uh, he redeemed himself last game. 64% of that plays are pass. Three. He's fourth on the list or the other people I just named. Let's get it. Kyle Pitts going over. All right, next up. Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Ray Ray McLeod. You guys remember the movie uh I forget it, but the guy used to they used to go it was an old gangster movie. It was a gang. The guy right here, right, right, right. Deuces, some shit. I don't remember what it's called. Good movie. <laughs> Fucking 41, 42 years old. I'm getting old, getting up there. Ray Ray McLeod, 39 and a half receiving yards. It's plus money now. FanDuel, minus 110. DraftKings, minus 125. DraftKings. Discrepancy in the books right now. Um. They bumped it up. Oh, I didn't play 39 and a half. What did I play? 35 and a half. Wow, I finally beat a line. Got it at 35 and a half. You get it at 37 and a half. Uh, he's been beasting. Carolina, as we said before, is oh, line movement. Outlaw is a great site. You guys should check it out. Or just continue watching me use it. But uh, there's a couple different versions. I, I'll pay for the cheaper one. Like a lot of the sites I use, they always have different levels. I think it's like $20 a month. Uh, receiving yards, 22nd to the wide receiver to rank 18th. Uh, he's been beast and went over this 4 out of 5. He's... Uh, you know, they got a couple good guys, like I was saying. Key parts, they're all getting utilized. 
Look at them targets and receptions. Saying he failed to exceed in five of his last six on the road. I'm not worried. Start on the list. 31 reception uh, targets. But uh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. What's he getting? Uh, average yard per reception. Long reception. He's catching that deep ball. I mean, Cousins was on the money last game. Hopefully, he keeps it up. So, let's get it, Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Game was a 4 o'clock. There's no rhyme or reason to the order. Uh, like all these bets, place them all. Um, receiving yards over 32 and a half. Mine is... I played it on FanDuel. Oh my god, it went down. Get it at 29 and a half. 25 and a half, minus 175. Man, I hate when that happens. Look at the discrepancy though. Caesar's got it at 162, FanDuel at 113. Um, multiple books, people. Four out of the last five. Cha-ching. Uh, the other back is hurt. So he's going to get a majority of it anyway. I mean, he usually did anyway. He's exceeded 32 and a half. Five is last six. Uh, running, they're running a little more, but, you know, we say situational football. Third downs, two-minute drills, uh, no timeouts, check downs, receivers get covered, all those types of things. Regardless of what happens, I mean, what you think or who's playing, those situations are going to happen. Uh, I guess that's why it's situational football, right? Uh, playing Tampa should be a good game. Uh, I think Carl's hurt. He got hurt last game. I don't think he's playing, so I don't know who's QBing. 28th in receiving yards, ranked 30th to a running back position. Uh, the backup, uh, yeah, Carl is out. Tyson Hill's out. I'm not sure who the backup is. But that even leads to help. That helps us too because backups, beginning quarterbacks, you know, them short plays are where it's at, especially if that gets them in rhythm, everything else. They have plenty of targets, plenty of receptions. He's catching the ball pretty well. Definitely yaks. You know, they have to catch third and targets on the team. Last week, I was going to play Juan Johnson, and then they got this other guy for us in a row. They both went over. I didn't play him. The uh, numbers went up a little bit, and I missed them while I was trying to figure it out, so I didn't play it, but they both had good games. So it kind of pisses me off when you have to read and then you don't play it and the shit hits and the, <laughs> the plays you bet don't hit. Or even if your bets do hit, but you're like, damn, I should have played that. Uh, Kamara, let's get it, 29 and a half. Uh, always, you can always look out for Evans, Odwin. I mean, there's a million plays. Uh, Evans for the TD. Shit, even Odwin for a TD. Kamara for a TD. Uh, let's get it. Receiving yards over 31 and a half minus. Uh, I played it on FanDuel. Must have changed. Line went up, went down. 32 and a half. They got it on the other books. Let's clear this two out of the last five. We played this last game. It was a good spot. I think it's another good spot. 
Uh, New England overall, ranked 24th in receiving yards. Tight end position, ranked 25th. You know, he's a good receiver, a uh, good tight end. His receptions are going up. Targets and receptions. Uh, Collins, Nico Collins got hurt last game when they beat my Bills. My Bills kind of beat themselves, but... Uh, so that's going to open up the field as well. They're going to be looking for other players to step up. And uh, so it settles in that zone, situational football, like I've been talking about. Let's get it. All right, if you made it this far and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm an amateur sports better, new to YouTube, and been betting for a couple of years. Uh, I kind of figured this out. I don't bet a lot per play, but uh, I do this every day. Every play I give you, I bet. Uh, started retracking my bets about a week ago. So we definitely profitable. i crazy, but we're making money. I'm paying my bills. That's the goal, right? Um, when I reach 500 subs, I'm going to do a $100 giveaway. I said that a couple months ago when I started. We're at... Uh, like halfway there, I feel like we should be higher. Uh, let's get it. Hit that subscribe. Turn the notifications on. Like the video. Comment. Tell your friends. We're getting money. Ace money the name. Getting paid for the game. Let's go. Okay.